Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I'm doing a quick tidbit. Um, I just posted the prime rib video that you are currently watching. I did notice that I didn't, I was going to talk about doing the mashed potatoes and I didn't finish. Um, you didn't get a final product of, of um, the prime rib. It came out really good. Um, unfortunately, um, the next video you see, which will, I think, be the lamb chop video, you'll see me do the asparagus. So you'll get to see uh, the asparagus being made in the toaster oven with the Parmesan cheese. With the mashed potatoes, um, I'm actually doing ribs tonight. I'm doing a beef rib that are already on the grill and have been on the grill almost an hour. Um, we're going to make mashed potatoes tonight. So... Um, once I post the um, ribs video, you guys will actually see how we do our mashed potatoes. It's actually relatively easy. Um, same method that I did when I did the prime rib roast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quarter my red potatoes. I'm going to boil them for 25 minutes. When they're done cooking and our fork tender when I can stick a fork all the way through and they're they're soft and get we're going to drain off all of the water what my husband does is he adds about four tablespoons of butter sometimes a little bit more and then instead of using milk a lot of people conventionally use milk my husband uses sour cream in place of the milk he uses I would say two heaping um, tablespoons, sometimes a little bit more. It all depends on how many potatoes you're making, but add the sour cream and then mash your potatoes. If your potatoes are really thick and um, need to be thinned out a little bit, add a little bit more sour cream to it. You're going to get a really, really, really creamy potato. You're also going to get a delicious potato. The sour cream makes a huge difference when you're making mashed potatoes. Um, and that's a, a, tri tig, ugh, a tr tidbit that I found out from my husband. I never did that. I was always conventional with the butter and the and milk because um, that's how my grandmother and my family have made mashed potatoes for years. I love mashed potatoes. I absolutely love this one. You can also, um, if you want to doctor your mashed potatoes up a little bit, you can put, um, while they're still hot and you're mashing them, you could throw in a little bit of uh, cheddar cheese and make them a cheesy mashed potato. Um, you could put bacon bits in them and make a loaded mashed potato. Um, we don't really do that that much, but the sour cream is the biggest difference. So the next time you're making mashed potatoes with a meal, instead of using milk, if you have sour cream, put that in. You'll thank me later for that. Anyway, that was just um, a precursor. Um, I'm not really going to show you how to do that. Um, you might get that on the beef rib video, so stay tuned for that. That's coming up um, probably towards the end of this week. It is Sunday, so um, that'll be posted on probably towards next weekend because I've got a couple of videos that I've done that need to be shown before this um before the rib video and uh, in between the prime rib and the rib video. So stay tuned.